guys so today I'm bringing you this beautiful strawberry girl trend makeup look this is a trend that's been going on like everywhere lately and I really really love the makeup look that I came up with for this look it's not as natural as it technically should be but I have acne and I have to cover up my spots at least I feel that I do um, it makes me feel more comfortable in my makeup so I wanted to kind of bring this look into using a little bit more products but um, I really love the way that it turned out and really hope you guys enjoy this video please subscribe before you leave and let's just get started okay so i'm gonna be doing the strawberry makeup trend today and i'm really excited about it but first um since i'm going to be doing i no eye makeup this is like super simple it doesn't even have eye makeup so I was thinking that I should do just a little bit of eyeliner, like not very much, like literally just on the outer portion here of the eye um, to go with my mascara, just to give my eyes a little something since I won't have any eyeshadow on. I think I want to do eyeliner. I'm going to um, try my best to do this and if I can't get it right, then I'll probably skip it, but I'm going to use a little bit of tape to create the wing liner because I don't want, um, because this helps kind of line up exactly where the line should be on your eyes and gives you the perfect winged out shape you just put it right up against your lash line right here right at the end and it'll make the perfect wing for you and then you can just draw on your eyeliner um but first i should probably do some concealer so i'm going to use my physician's formula butter glow concealer which is what i'm going to use later and basically just conceal my red any red spots on my eyes and veins and such like that just conceal all that since we're not going to do eyeshadow we still want to cover the veins on the eyes just make sure that's blend out and then i'm going to use this little elf blending brush in my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder and I'm gonna set my lids with that just to make sure that we have a nice base with nothing on it and I'm going to use my little mirror and just this is my Physicians Formula Eye Booster Waterproof Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. It's nice and black and matte. And I'm going to just add a teeny tiny little flick. Just like that, very, very easy and simple. And then let's see what it looks like after we peel it off. Okay, so I realized that I haven't done eyeliner in literally so long that I suck at it now um, because it's just difficult for me to do anyway. And so I stopped doing it for a while. And I'm, 
I want to fix these like I want to make them look a little bit more like each other but I don't want to mess anything up anymore and I already got a black eyeliner all over my shirt that I just got so if you guys notice that that's what that is and I guess it's just gonna have to be there because I bought this brand new shirt for this look and I'm not gonna take it off just because I got some eyeliner on it even though I'm really sad about it and I tried to fix it because I'm an idiot and it spread the black all over so yeah I guess this is what we're working with but um, it doesn't look bad I suppose I hope um, so now I'm gonna use my elf luminous putty primer and I'm gonna actually move on to the strawberry makeup base and everything this look is more about the strawberry base anyway so it doesn't need to be I don't need to have perfect wings and or anything like that this actually isn't supposed to have any um it's supposed to have like very barely any base makeup but i have acne and i need coverage to cover up my acne and i want to do the strawberry makeup look too so i'm just doing it with the with foundation and like the full nine yards because I have to do that but if you have more natural skin and like you or not natural skin but if you have more like um if you want to do natural makeup and you have the skin for it and don't have all these spots like I do then you can do without all this foundation and everything because that's actually what you're supposed to do but I have acne to cover so I'm just gonna cover it up with my foundation and everything and still do more of a natural-esque kind of base oh I didn't even tell you what I used I just used my elf power grip niacinamide primer on top of the elf putty primer it is a great combo and I'm going to use my favorite foundation which I think is perfect for this look the relove by revolution super serum um, hyaluronic acid foundation i keep saying that i'll do a foundation routine with my new favorite foundation but every single time i want to do it a new like trend comes out or something and i want to do that instead so i just haven't gotten around to it but i will at some point do a foundation routine with this this is the most amazing foundation like ever it has such good coverage and well it has like medium to full coverage so it covers everything that i need it to cover so well but it is so thin like it doesn't feel like i'm wearing a bunch of makeup when i wear this and it's just the most amazing foundation ever it doesn't feel like i'm wearing tons and tons of makeup and foundation when I wear this it feels like it actually feels like a serum on the skin which I absolutely love and it gives me the coverage I need and it's so pretty and dewy and I just love it and I use it every time with my elf total face sponge And that is the foundation on like look at how perfect that the skin looks it looks so amazing
And then I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Butter Concealer again on my under eyes. And I'm going to use it in like the T-zone area and on my acne spot. So now I'm going to finally bring the strawberryness into this and I'm going to use this Milani um, Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in the shade Blushing Berry, which I feel like is maybe not the perfect strawberry blush, but it is a nice kind of red-ish blush, like the most red blush that I could find. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush and just take... A little bit oh my god that's so much and start bringing the blushiness to the face with that and this is like really pretty and like dewy I literally took the tiniest bit and that much pigment comes out oh my gosh a little bit more even because this whole look is about the blush being super blushy and using like red tones in your makeup look. Red toned blushes. You could use like a full on red blush but I don't even have that. So this is the most red blush that I have in my collection. But that is like so pretty. I'm gonna use some with my finger and then blend it out. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. And I do have to powder after this, so I'm really using a lot and making it, honestly, using more than I should. And I'm going to use a little bit of this Hard Candy Face Off Luminous Blush in Born Yesterday. I don't really need it, but I'm going to use a little bit. This is more of like a pale pink. And I thought it would go good kind of mixed together with the Milani blush. Oh yeah. That is so bright and pink. Holy crap. That is very pretty. And then another product that I think is kind of perfect with this look solely because of the packaging is this um, Half Caked Your So Last Summer Cheek and Lip Tint. And I'm gonna use this to add a little bit of bronziness as well on my cheeks. Just so that way we bring in some bronziness with the blush. That's not really what this is about, but I do want to add a little bit of some bronzer and like contour. And this is a really nice shade for that. I have to powder my face because otherwise I don't my makeup will not last and I can't have that because then I'm going to touch it and it's going to transfer off and it's going to look terrible. So I have to set my makeup. Um, I'm going to use my Milan Milani, my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder to do that. I'm going to set my face with a little powder puff and I'm going to try my best to avoid the blush. I'm gonna take my big e.l.f. powder brush and just take a little bit of that powder and set it with the brush like this so that way it doesn't take away, that way it doesn't add as much coverage and take away the blushiness from that cream blush. So then I'm gonna add some more color to my face and I'm gonna use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer 
Mm, this smells so good. And I'm going to use this with my big Morphe Jage O2 brush. And add some bronziness to my face. And I'm going to use my Juvia's Place Blushed um, palette. This is the volume four. And I'm going to use this bright blush right here. This might not be super strawberry like, but I think it will look good with this. No, my Morphe brush is crushed. I'm using my Morphe JH04 brush to do this. Just add more blush in there. I'm gonna use, and I think I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of this top one here, and I'm gonna take some off onto the back of my hand first and then I'm going to use it on the face because I feel like that is a little bit it looks a lot like the Milani cream blush that I used so we're kind of adding that back to the face I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, powder contour palette. I'm going to use this shade right here. It's like the most perfect glow from within kind of highlight and it is so pretty. I'm going to use it like practically all over my face to add back that glow that I lost from setting the face. And I'm going to use a tiny bit of this Wet n Wild Blossom Glow. This is like a beautiful pinky highlight. And I'm going to use some of that just a little bit on the high points of my face like right here. Just to add some extra, an extra pop right there. And we're keeping with the pinky theme and also bringing it on the nose and the cubic bow. And that is the strawberry base done. Um, I'm going to then set all that with my Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Wet n Wild, this Wet n Wild highlighter again, and I'm going to put that in my water, my waterline. No, I'm going to put that in my inner corner to brighten it up and give it a nice highlight. I totally forgot to do this before I set my face. And then I'm going to use this e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams No Budge Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Sweet Cream um, as an eyeliner and I'm going to put that on my waterline. I'm going to use, I'm going to curl my lashes with my e.l.f. eyelash curler and use my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is the waterproof version. Um, I've heard that using a waterproof mascara can hold your curl better when you curl your lashes so I'm gonna give this a try and hope that it makes my lashes look really pretty because we need nice lashes with this look So then I'm going to finally do the lips and I'm going to use my NYX lip pencil in the shade Hot Red and I'm going to line my lips with that. 
It's kind of like a red. It's a very cool toned red with a little bit of pinkiness like underneath it. And then to kind of blend that in and blend in the center, I'm gonna use my NYX lip pencil in natural. And I'm going to go over that red with this. And then I'm going to use my CoverGirl. This is the perfect gloss for this Strawberry Girl makeup look. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss in the shade my straw booty and it literally smells like what does that smell like what it smells like it literally smells like trick cereal like it's bringing me back to my childhood and i love it smells so good I absolutely love this gloss and I am definitely I can't believe I haven't tried this before and I'm definitely going to get more of these in more colors because I love this one this is the finished strawberry girl makeup look um this is like inspired by the strawberry girl trend and I literally have my strawberry earrings on which I really really love it looks super cute um, and I'm also going to use for my fragrance I'm gonna use the strawberry um, products from the body shop I'm gonna use my strawberry body yogurt and use some of that on my chest. This stuff smells so, so good. It literally smells like fresh strawberries and I absolutely love it. And I think it's perfect for this strawberry girl trend. And then I'm gonna use some of this, um, the Body Shop Strawberry Body Mist on top. And this smells so good. Just do a couple spritzes of this as well. And I love both of these together. It creates the perfect strawberry scent. So this is the completed Strawberry Girl makeup look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.